Hello, my name is Dr. Elsie Ose. I'm a family physician. I'm Brad, physical therapist. And I'm Shauna, occupational therapist. We um, wanted to get on here today and talk a little bit about lifestyle management. Um, so lifestyle is one of the most modifiable risk factors for improving your health. And we wanted to talk about a few topics on the lifestyle management, which is sleep, diet and exercise, and how to incorporate all of that into a daily routine. So I'm going to start us off with sleep. Um, sleep is really very important. I'm sure we all know this. The issue is making sure we're getting enough sleep. So on average, you're supposed to get seven to nine hours of sleep a night um, and making sure that you're rested in the morning, right? Trying to keep a sleep hygiene is also important because that will help you get that amount of sleep. And that is being consistent. You're going to bed the same time every day, making sure that you have a room that's amenable to sleep. So it's dark in the room. There are no electronics. There's no TV. Um, what you eat before you go to bed is important. You don't want to have a large meal. You don't want to make sure that you're not um, drinking caffeine or alcohol before you go to bed. And also making sure that you're exercising every day. That will help you sleep at night as well. When you don't get enough sleep, you end up having some sleep disorders that can really affect your health. So for patients who you notice that you're snoring really loudly, if you notice that you're um, sleeping throughout the day, or you're also having sleep that is not very refreshing, um, that is concerning because that can lead to issues like reflux, high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, stroke. So it's very important to make sure that if you have these symptoms, that you're talking to your um, healthcare provider or physician about it to address the sleep concern. Um, I want to move it a little bit over to um, Brad to talk about diet and exercise, which is a huge part of lifestyle management. Thanks, Dr. Ose. Sleep so important. I know my patients are constantly telling me that they didn't get a good night's sleep, and we're learning more and more about the health impacts that's having, having on us. And uh, as far as nutrition and exercise, you know, what are we supposed to be eating? How much exercise are we supposed to be getting? 150 minutes a week is kind of the target that we're shooting for for exercise. That can be broken up into any way uh, manageable. It can be 30 minutes a day. It can be two 15 minute mm -hmm. sessions of walking or, or moderate exercise a day. Uh, as far as how much water are we supposed to be taking in? That's a big question I get a lot of times from patients and family members. We're supposed to be taking half of our body weight in ounces per day in water. And for every 30 minutes we exercise, add 12 ounces to that. So lots of water and that has huge impacts on our health. And you know, another big topic is nutrition. You know, how, how am I supposed to be eating? What am I supposed to be eating? And over the last decade, there's been a huge paradigm shift away from the old argument over calories, fats, proteins, carbohydrates. And we really need to look at it more as the food that we are putting into our bodies is communicating with the literally billions of cells in our gut, which in turn controls our brain and is, and is causing uh, the, the health reaction from our, our food. So it, it's a lot easier to think about what can I add to my diet to reduce inflammation and improve health and actually have an impact on sleep. For one example is really interesting is serotonin. That is one uh, neurotransmitter that regulates sleep and mood. 90% of that neurotransmitter is produced in our gut. So what we're putting into our, our digestive system is having an impact on our mood and, and sleep regulation. So things to think about, add more fruits and vegetables than you're already taking. Most of us don't get enough. So add more fruits and vegetables, add more fatty fish, add more beans. We're supposed to be getting three servings of beans a day, which probably none of us are good about doing. And um, so start checking those off the list, trying to add more of those and just try to take in less, less processed food. So how do we do all that? Shauna, I'll pass that on to you. Yeah, so a lot of us already have super busy schedules and how can we incorporate what we know is best for us regarding diet, exercise, sleep hygiene? How do we make steps towards those goals? Yeah. I think sitting down um, and, t and looking at the big picture for yourself and what you envision, whether that's um, having more energy, it's um, getting back to the gym, it's getting down to the floor to play with your grandkids again. Um, all those things that we really value um, require um, our body to be healthy and for us to take time for that self-care. And so um, when we're, we're making goals for ourselves, it's important for us to make actionable short-term goals too. 
how can we check something off the list? I don't know. I love being able to check something off my list um, and it feels so good um, and we feel successful doing that. Um, so if we have to put that in our phone um, as a reminder, they have, you know, you can put in your smartwatch, smartwatches, um, uh, reminders uh, to drink more water, to get that 15 minute walk in twice a day. Um, how do we find our accountability partners, get our family on board, our children on board and incorporate them um, for meal planning, um, for getting out for exercise. So somebody give you a call and say, hey, how are you doing um, this week with your meal planning? Um, you wanna go for a bike ride. Um, so associating ourselves with positive healthy influences I think is really important too. Yeah. And a good thing that both of you said that I really like and for, you know, for, with Shauna was, really writing things down because that really does help you get through what your goal is for the day um, and then you mentioned serotonin which is huge because you know the past couple of years we've all had our lives change um so uh, we've had differences in our lifestyle you know not working out enough not eating the right things um and that has really led to a lot of mood disorders in the past couple of years um or at least amplified what was there before so we want to make sure that we're really focusing on that and doing both of those two things, again, can improve your sleep because with that, you avoid a lot of other chronic medical conditions. Mm -hmm. And I think just, you know, contacting our healthcare professionals, you know, when you need a hand in that, you need more yeah. education individualized to you, yeah. um, you know, calling your physical therapist, Brad, you know, uh, Dr. Ose for, you know, how do we make those steps towards um, better health? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. So we are gonna be getting on here once a month to discuss changes that you can make in your lifestyle or topics that will be helpful to um, your daily routine. If you um, have any questions, comments, just post them below. If you know somebody who would benefit from this video, just share with them. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. All right, thank you. Thanks. Thank you.